Well, let me thank you, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. President. Senator from West Virginia. Thank you. Let me thank you, Senator Schumer, for uh, uh, working with us to come to this conclusion, bringing all of us together. We appreciate it very much. I appreciate Senator McConnell for being a part of this and joining this bipartisan effort. And of course, my dear friend, Senator Mitt Romney, who has been a part of all these efforts that we've worked together in putting this small token of our, uh, of, of our appreciation for what we've been able to do. I want to thank Senator Finnerman also. Uh, Senator Finnerman, I've had many conversations, and he has uh, worked with me to find a solution. I appreciate that very much. It has truly been a team effort. You know, for 234 years, every senator has had uh, the honor of serving in this distinguished body has assumed that there were some basic written rules of decorum and conduct and civility, uh, one of which was a dress code. Uh, the presumed dress code was pretty simple. The male senators were required to wear a coat, tie, and slacks uh, or other long pants while on the floor of the Senate to show the respect that we had for our constituents back home. Just after a week ago, we learned that uh, there were not, in fact, any written rules about the senators, uh, and we could not wear and what they could and could not wear on the floor. So Senator Romney and I got together, and we thought maybe it's time that we finally codify something that was precedented law for, precedented rule for 234 years. So we, we drafted uh, this simple uh, two-page resolution that will put all of that to bed once and for all by just codifying the long-standing practices into a Senate rule, which makes it very clear for the uh, Sergeant of Arms to be able to enforce. So with that, I want to thank Senator Romney for working, as always, in a bipartisan way on so many endeavors. And this is just as important as maybe any of them we've ever done. So with that, I turn it over and yield to my good friend, uh, Senator Romney. Senator Mr. From Utah. President, thank you. Senator Manchin, we have uh, collaborated on quite a number of things together, and it's been a, a, great, a great experience and a joy for me. And thank you, Leader Schumer, for uh, uh, beginning this process and, and making sure that we reached a, a, a favorable and bipartisan conclusion. Um, this is not the biggest thing going on in Washington today. <laughs> it's not even one of the biggest things going on in Washington today. But nonetheless, it's a good thing. Uh, it's another example of Republicans and Democrats being able to work together and to solve, in this case, what might, may not be a real big problem, but it's an important thing and makes a difference to a lot of people. I, I've been thinking about um, the extraordinary founders of our country and the leaders in the early days that decided to build this building. I mean, George Washington approved this building. In, in the years that followed, it, it, huge sacrifices were made. They could have built the building that looks like a Walmart with lazy boy chairs. Instead, they built this extraordinary edifice with columns and marble. Why did they do that? Why make that huge investment? One, I think it's to show the respect and admiration we have for the institution of the government of the United States of America. This was at a time when we were an agricultural society, and yet they made this enormous sacrifice and built this amazing edifice. And I think it's in keeping with that spirit that we say we want those who serve inside this room, in this hall, to show a level of dignity and respect, which is consistent with the sacrifice they made and with the beauty of the surroundings. And so I appreciate the effort that Senator Manchin has led and, and Senator Schumer, Schumer has, has uh, put on the floor this evening uh, such that we might be able to proceed and codify what has been a longstanding practice of showing our admiration and respect for the institution in which we serve, uh, the very building in which we're able to serve it, uh, and our respect for the people uh, that we represent. Thank you.